this is Miranda, Broke Barista, back again. Today I'm going to be teaching you all my homemade snickerdoodle recipe. I know it's fall, everybody's antsy, wants something spicy in their drinks, or something just, you know, kind of homey. Feels like fall, winter's coming. So, I'm going to teach you one of my favorites, snickerdoodle. Let's go to the stove. Alright, so, snickerdoodle syrup. Got my recipe. Um, we're starting with sugar and water, just like any sort of simple syrup. I'm gonna turn my stove to high. One cup of water. Water. One cup of white sugar. Half a cup of brown sugar. Darker, better. It's dark, has more molasses, so give you that more like snickerdoodle kind of. So we're gonna get this up to boiling. Ooh. And that'll take a few minutes. I always like to use a whisk as well as a spoon to make sure that there's any clumps. They really break down, it can pass through better. It's a different way of mixing, it's good whenever you have liquidy things like this that you need to be smooth. Okay. A little white. My favorite thing to do with this, you can make a snickerdoodle latte or some sort of specialty drink like that. You make homemade snickerdoodles, you put whipped cream and then you crumble up a homemade snickerdoodle cookie on top of the snickerdoodle latte, and you have a little bit of Christmas fall heaven right there. It just tastes like holidays and cold weather. I love it. And once it starts boiling, we're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon and an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. All my little spices in there. And we're gonna boil this until it sticks to the back of the spoon. Want to cling. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Sure you use a big pot. Um, gonna boil this. This is good to know. down a little bit we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla bakery emulsion um, once it stops bubbling I don't want um, the heat will kill it'll lessen the flavoring don't want that you want a nice vanilla taste Oh, 
it smells amazing. I wish you could smell through video. It's great. You just have to make it and find out. Mm. Alright. Um, I suggest putting this in a glass. Um, always in glass because you want it to be nice and hot. But in something with a small mouth, I'm just out of jars. Um, I like old tea bottles and that sort of stuff. snickerdoodle sauce. Go make your nice snickerdoodle latte with that. Cappuccino something. Make some homemade snickerdoodles. Make it nice and fancy. And show everybody pictures. Tag me at Broke Barista Life so we can all see. Thank y'all. See you next time. Bye.